still look like that today. With me is Henry Scott Irving, who was responsible for compiling the video. Henry, oh. why did you want to bring them back then? Um, well, it was really that um, Channel 5 are sort of uh, selling all things cult, if you like, at the moment, and they thought there was definitely an audience for them, and um, we had to look halfway around the world to find Jan and Vlaster. Yes. How, why did you have to do that? Um, well, the characters are actually owned by Jan and Vlaster, even though the series was actually made at the BBC in Manchester in the 1960s. Um, so in order to actually license it, we had to discover where they were. And uh, most people who'd worked with them hadn't spoken to them for about 15 or 20 years because they'd, they'd gone globe-tropping, if right. you like. And uh, we found uh, that they'd gone to Florida and uh, that they had been in the Bahamas previously. And uh, because Jan and Vlaster were Czech, we actually wondered whether they might have gone back to Prague. Well, what was their reaction when you eventually caught up with them? Uh, incredibly surprised and uh, amazed that there was any interest at all. Yeah. Um, and obviously by the reaction that has been over the past few days, uh, they were wrong to feel that way. Right. Um, and uh, very oh, well, pleased. It's, it's marvellous. I mean, it's taken me right back to my childhood. We couldn't really talk about Pinky and Perky without meeting their creators. I'm delighted that they're with us today. Please welcome Jan and Vlaster Dalibor. <laughs> And of course I should say, Pinky and Perky. How lovely to see you. Hello. What was your reaction then, when, when you were first approached? Oh, we, we just uh, didn't want to believe it, mm. actually. We were surprised and uh, delighted, actually. Now, are, are these the, the original Pinky? These are the original Pinky and Perky. Now, I'm sorry, I have forgotten. Which is Pinky and which is Perky? Uh, this one is Pinky. Right. And that's Perky, always perked up with the hat. Some ah, sort of a hat. Of yes. course, I remember now. You had to remember that way, didn't you? Now, these... You, you had all different types of Pinkies and Perkies, didn't yes, you? Yes, yes. We, uh, we have them in the form of, uh, of a graph a puppet and then we have them as string puppets mm. and use them for different uh, jobs in the, in the series. How did you come up with a pair of talking pigs, then? Why? Uh, well, I... Um, we wanted new characters, and um, piglets are lucky in our old country, Czechoslovakia, mm -hmm. and I thought it would be nice to have a piglet, but I thought twins would be much better. And Jan is a sculptor, and I wanted him to make uh, two characters, mm -hmm. and I uh, asked him and asked him and again, and eventually he did. Now, you did a lot of touring before they were ever sort of discovered, didn't you? Yes. What sort yes. of things did you do? Well, we used to do cabaret and pantomimes and variety. Uh, we did the uh, Sunday night at the London Palladium several oh. times, the Ed Sullivan show in New York. He took us to Las Vegas with him in 1959. Really? It's going back uh, 31 years now. Yes. So when uh, did you get, how did you get discovered on television then? I uh, think it was, uh, it was a competition, mm. and it was Barney Colhan from uh, uh, Leeds Television who was producing It's Up To You program, and different acts appeared, and the viewers voted uh, for the best one, and there was a deluge of uh, votes and letters, and uh, so this is how we were on television. What is it, do you think, about two pigs that, that it's crossed all age barriers, hasn't it, really? Yes, search me, I really don't know. <laughs> it just happened that, that way. Well, did you have a hand in, in sort of compiling the programme? Because from what I remember, the programme was a bit of a sort of mickey take of, of musicians, yes, wasn't yes, it? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. It was our, our, our idea, actually. Mm. And uh, we uh, collaborated on the script and on the scenery and uh, everything on the, on the choice of records. We used and took Mickey out of. Uh, <laughs> so, yes. What about the, the other characters that were on Pinky and Perky? Oh, yes, yes. We had the, the frog, Morton Frog, the saxophone playing frog, and we had Debbie Duckling. And, I always uh, remember a big black puppet with a row of pearls around her neck singing all the jazz numbers. Don't you know which one that oh, one? Yeah. Oh, 
No, 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 no. Not no, Callaway no, no, Crow, no. no, no. I can't thinking, remember uh, that now. It must have been Debbie Duckling or Bruno <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. How did how did the obviously the um, personalities evolve more and more? But it must have been your input. What was the difference between Pinky and Perky? Uh, there wasn't much difference. They are identical twins. They are from the same mould actually. Mm -hmm. They're just dressed differently. And then this fellow has a uh, has a cap on his head always. Uh, it just happens, it develops. Once you start working and producing the programs, uh, they, they take their own uh, uh, personality on and uh, they take over the show, actually. Why uh, did you decide then, at the height of their career, to put them into um, you know, retirement? We always said we would retire before we are 50. Mm. And we thought it was a good idea to retire while they were still popular. And so we did. Mm. Uh, just. Uh, we were, we, were, we were tired of Pinky and Perky just pushing us around and uh, <laughs> 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 it was much too much. We thought, you know, enough was enough. Do you think that, <laughs> that in this age now, in the 90s, when we've got the Ninja Turtles, do you think that, that Pinky and Perky are sophisticated enough for the youngsters? Uh, well, I, I don't know, really. Perhaps they are. Uh, I, I mean, children are not that much different from mm. 30 years ago, are they, really? No. It's more the media which is trying to make them different. But and it's kids are, uh, simple little things, really, yes, isn't it? Yes, they're simple little things. Well, yeah. What are the next plans, then? Are they, are they going to have their own spot on television or what? Um, well, I think there's going to be a couple of videos and uh, then, hopefully, there's going to be a series in the spring on Channel 4. Ah, oh, right. Well, thank you very much. It's lovely to have tracked you down and to have brought Pinky and Perky along here today. Lovely to have got you. Looking marvellous, they are. Don't look your age at all. Us. Obviously, pigs don't age that much. They don't. No, no. no. They, they don't oh, look different to uh, what, what they looked 30 years ago. I, I'm, I'm sorry I can't say that about ourselves, but... Uh, well, uh, so yes, am I. Yes, yes. <laughs> but thank you. It's lovely to have you with us. Let's take one last look at Pinky and Perky in action. With the help of our sound supervisor, I'll introduce them in a fitting manner. Ladies and gentlemen, here are Pinky and Perky with I've Got a Lovely Bunch of Coconuts. <laughs> I think the voice is an improvement that way, really.